Good day everyone, my name is Rom Burlat. I'm a director, an actor, a talent manager, and international host. This is my first blog, so I should say, I should start with the loudest whisper in town, which is the Miss Universe 28th and pageant. I would like to congratulate Thailand for a very well-staged pageant. The lights, the sounds, you can tell they're preparing for this. It will go down in history as one of the best presentations of Miss Universe. Congratulations, Thailand. And I would like to congratulate also the winner, Miss Universe 2018, Catriona Gray of the Philippines. You have everything to win the contest. You're the most prepared candidate. You are gorgeous. Uh, the way you walk and uh, you know what the way you answer questions it's one of the best I've heard in years so I would like to review on the top 20 of the Miss Universe pageant so Asia and Africa we have South Africa Philippines Vietnam Nepal and Thailand a very good choice of top five for Asia and Pacific for Europe um, we have Belgium Great Britain Poland Hungary and Ireland actually my only favorite from this group is uh, Hungary then we have the Americas Canada Puerto Rico Curaçao Jamaica and Costa Rica I'm a bit surprised with uh, the inclusion of Costa Rica but when they paraded in top 20 I guess she should be there and the wild cards of course Venezuela was there Brazil Indonesia USA and Australia for the top 20, I was a bit surprised why the beautiful Mexico didn't make it. I should say she has the face of the universe this year. She's the most beautiful face of the competition. That's only my opinion though. But for me, she should be in the top 20. Also, the non-inclusion of Nigeria, Ecuador, and Peru. However, in totality, the top 20 is good. Now let's go to the top 10. So we have Philippines, South Africa, Venezuela, Vietnam, Puerto Rico, Canada, Curaçao, Nepal, Costa Rica, and Thailand. Puerto Rico, I'm not a fan of her gown. I heard that uh, she could have worn red during the competition, but during the last minute, she changed it. Probably if she wore red during the competition, she will have a chance on the top three. I love Puerto Rico. She's pretty. She's dusky. Uh, for the swimsuit competition, um, number one for me is Canada. And then Philippines. And then uh, South Africa. Vietnam. So in the announcement of the top three, you have South Africa, Philippines, and Venezuela. I was thinking of Puerto Rico, but uh, Venezuela has the most beautiful hair, she's also pretty, and she answered very well. And among the girls in the competition, I heard that Venezuela has, is the mo one of the most kind, one of the, the, the most accommodating candidate of the competition. So I agree with the, the top three Philippines, South Africa, and Venezuela. So um, I think there were butterflies in the stomach already during the question and answer portion that Philippines as usual is in her uh, Bobby self, um, confident. When South Africa answered the question, I think she's a little bit nervous though, probably because of the pressure that uh, the country is expecting for a back-to-back -back win for her. That is why. So second runner-up was announced, Venezuela, second runner-up. Before the announcement of the winner, people have divided thoughts whether Philippines or South Africa will be the winner. But sometimes both girls are great in terms of uh, looks, uh, the way they talk, their gift of gab, uh, the way they presented themselves in uh, gown and um, swimsuit. However, there should only be one Miss Universe and one is this team, I should say also, it's a destiny. This girl, this woman, I should say, who placed only fourth in the Miss World 2016, is destined to be the Miss Universe. So it came up that Miss Philippines, Katarina Gray, won the Miss Universe beauty pageant. But I should say South Africa is a close second. Um, overall, the presentation was great. I don't have any complaints except for 
a few people or a few candidates who are not included in Duck 20, but again, we are not the judges. There are judges who know better than us. But in totality, it was a good uh, result, the presentation, and uh, Thailand, again, congratulations. It was a very well-staged Miss Universe contest. Before I close, I would like to thank the 30th Asia Pacific Excellence Awards for my twin award. This one is the best talent manager of the year, Romantic Talent Management. Thank you, Asia Pacific. And yes, of course, um, best director award for my movie, Kuku. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for that. And I would like to also thank uh, Reggie and uh, Red for helping me with this vlog and to my romantics. Thank you very much. I'll have another one before Christmas. An advanced Merry Christmas to you and a prosperous 2019.